I'm Ms. Holt, and I'm here to talk to you about how science is pebbled in senior high school. Um, the way the science curriculum is laid out through uh, grades science 10 to 12 is, is pebbled on its own because the students have a choice of which pathway they'd like to take. Now in Efton, uh, the, after science 10, which is a required course, uh, they have an option. Physical Science 20 and Health Science 20 are taught here at the school, but the students also have an option to take Environmental Science 20, Earth Science 20, or Computer Science 20 through distance learning courses. Now at the school, if a student chooses to take the Physical Science 20 strand after they uh, are finished Science 10, that will get them into a Physics 30 course or a Chemistry 30 course for their grade 11 or 12 year. If they take the health science 20 level route, that will get them into biology 30. Now students have a choice to take one of these or both to get into the 30 level sciences. So now I'm gonna give you an example of how I use Pebble in my bio 30 class. So this uh, program is OneNote. It's an online notebook and my students all have access to it. I post all of my class notes here I post assignments, worksheets, and answer keys, so they have access to those 24-7. Uh, they also have access to the side notes that I've written on these notes. And if a student misses a class day for sports, illness, appointment, or anything, they don't actually miss the lesson that was taught. They don't have what I said, but they have what I wrote on the board. Um, here's an example. I had a student miss this day when we went into the lab to do biological drawing. So the next day when the student arrived, they actually had their assignment done because I posted a virtual link to the microscope where they were able to do a biological drawing of a cell and they weren't a day behind.